Good morning. Uh, so, welcome to one of my puffy faced morning videos where I have not yet had my morning coffee and it's hard for me to hold my train of thought, but we're gonna power through this. So, I'm excited because Avery the barista, she was talking about how she tried this espresso that had um, Earl Grey in it and a squeeze of lemon. And I was like, okay, I haven't tried that myself, but I accept this challenge. So before you're like, okay, well that's dumb, easy, right? I, you know me, I like making uh, syrups. So I wanted to make a syrup that was an, also doubled as an Earl Grey concentrate. And the challenges there were A, the viscosity, like we need something that flows out of the pump well, right? Um, because I want people to be able to do like one pump equals exactly what you need for a latte. But then two, their sweetness. If it's overly viscous, it might also be overly sweet um, because you're effectively boiling out the water, right? So that will affect both viscosity and sweetness. And then three, how much Earl Grey do I need to use? And what is my method for making the most concentrated concentrate I can? I can't just brew Earl Grey tea and pour that in um, because too much water. So this in every way has been a challenge in how much Earl Grey do I need? How much sugar do I need? And water being kind of that, that variable that I'm trying to control. Um, the Earl Grey I'm using is this lovely organic uh, loose leaf tea. Earl Grey, by the way, is just black tea with bergamot which is a type of orange. And I think that's why Earl Grey and citrus pair so well together. But why would citrus and coffee pair well together? Well, according, oh my God, flight path. According to the internet, I'm just gonna, you're just gonna have to listen to me through the airplane noises, sorry. Um, according to the internet, Americans started s squeezing lemon into their espresso as a way to counteract the bitterness of a improperly pulled shot. So that is not a very fun origin story. However, um, I think I think even though it comes from a weird place, maybe I think it's also a speculative um, like origin story. If you add lemon to a well pulled shot presumably it still is an amazing combo. And I'm curious, I haven't looked this up yet, but the the whole me mechanism behind it is you're counteracting the harshness or sourness of a poorly pulled shot with the acidity of the lemon. And you would think, oh, both are acidic, but I guess they must be acidic in different ways, or maybe one is providing a, a net, like acidity that should have been there. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up, report back, or you can tell me. Um, okay, so what got me down the syrup train? Well, Honey Bunny, I created a, a syrup that is the same viscosity and flavor and color and everything in every way to honey. So it's a vegan honey alternative. The ingredient is raw cane sugar <laughs> syrup. It's a pretty um, simple product. It's just the, the method is the hard part, not the ingredients, because uh, raw sugar isn't hard. Uh, and then something that's cool that I'm excited about is I have pumps on the way. That way we can start making 64 ounces of syrup for the shop at a time, so we don't have to throw away tons of glass bottles anymore. We can just reuse the bottles. So, wow, sustainability. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I just have to wait for those pumps to come. And then once they do, I can, if the Earl Grey syrup works, I can have a Kano size Earl Grey's for the shop, you know, like family si coffee shop size Earl Grey's for the shop. And then, uh, 
if syrups in general are a good idea, which I think they are, then um, the next thing I would want to do is develop a really awesome vanilla syrup because vanilla is our number one most used syrup. So if I can give y'all an amazing vanilla, uh, then we will save so many of those glass bottles because when we, when we put a syrup in right now, we get um, these like little 20, I think they're 25 milliliter bottles, about like less than a quart from a distributor. And we go through dozens of glass bottles every single week and it's just unnecessarily wasteful. So we can avoid that with 64 ounce versions that we make for ourselves, and maybe it could even be a better quality because it would be made with raw cane sugar and it would be made with amazing vanilla. I need to source that, but Anyway, that's where we're going. Yay, syrups. Okay, bye.